Hi guys, welcome back to Hear Me Out. I'm E. I'm D. And I want you guys to tell me in the comments who loves orange soda. <laughs> because Kel loves orange soda. <laughs> Is it true? Mm -hmm. Oh my God! <laughs> we're, we're doing the whole thing. I do, I do, I do. Ooh. So obviously, you guys know that we're about to talk about Keenan and Kel. And if you're a millennial and you used to watch Nickelodeon, you know, we used to watch uh, all that. And yeah. in all that, there was Good Burger, that yeah. Good Burger skit with uh, Keenan Thompson and Kel Mitchell. Um, so, and obviously there was a movie. So I'm happy to inform you guys that there is a Good Burger 2 coming out. <laughs> like who's excited? I'm excited. Is it true? <laughs> Yes. Let us know. Well, according to our research, because, you know, we have to look into things. Uh, welcome to Good Burger, home of the Good Burger. Can I take your order? <laughs> These immortal words are known by every person who grew up in the 1990s, and it's a phrase that is set to be uttered once again in the long-awaited sequel to Nickelodeon classic Good Burger 2. In 1994, a little show by the name of All That premiered on the popular children's channel Nickelodeon. Perhaps the most popular cast members of All That are Keenan Thompson and Kel Mitchell, the latter of whom became best known for his iconic character of Ed, Love Ed, a lovable yet dopey cashier of a fast food restaurant by the name of Good Burger. Thompson and Mitchell proved to be an inseparable duo outside of their tenure on All That when they got their own show with Keenan and Kel. But perhaps, noticing how popular the Good Burger sketch and the Ed character were, Nickelodeon recruited the child star pair to star in a feature film based on the sketch. Thus, Good Burger was born, which saw Keenan Thompson as Dexter join the staff of the restaurant and become unlikely friends with Ed. Though Dexter initially joins the staff for his own selfish reasons, he quickly grows attached to both Ed and the rest of his co-workers. And helps them claim victory over their evil rival fast food restaurant, Mondo Burger. Although the film wasn't a massive hit at the box office, it wasn't a failure either. And both Keenan Thompson and Kel Mitchell have fond memories of the project. The original Good, Bur Good Burger film made its way into theaters, grossing a total of $23.7 million out of a budget of only $9 million. Following their appearance on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon in March 2023, Kenny Thompson and Kel Mitchell officially confirmed that a sequel to Good Burger was in development at Nickelodeon and Paramount. Good Burger 2 will see Dexter and Ed reunite for another adventure, packed to the brim with a new story, new characters, and new wacky scenarios to get involved in. The plot synopsis that we know of, Dexter Reed is down on his luck after another one of his inventions fails. Ed welcomes Dex back to Good Burger with open arms and gives him his old job back. With the new crew working at Good Burger, Dex devises a plan to get back on his feet, but unfortunately puts the fate of Good Burger at risk once again. Josh Server, Lori Beth Denberg, and Carmen Electra will all be reprising their roles from the first film as Fizz, Connie Muldoon, and Roxanne. Good Burger 2 will finally be making its way to Paramount Plus just in time for Thanksgiving. It was announced that the film will be available to stream starting on November 22nd. No plans for a wider limited theatrical release of the film have been made known at this time. I wish they would. I know, they should have. Like, you know how many movies will go? Oh my gosh, yeah. You know, okay, it's hilarious, like, because, yes, this is very much like a millennial thing, but in the last few years, I cannot tell you how many times I have rewatched Good Burger because my nephews are obsessed with Good Burger. So, like, we're talking, like, 20, 25-year difference here. And these kids are, like, watching it daily. They know all the words. It's, like, insane. But I feel like... They're missing from TV. Like, just good, silly fun. Like, with some good morals and, you know, funniness classic like it just never goes out of style i think it's hilarious every time i see it i'm just like what <laughs> like what is this but it, it is very much still like you know one of those movies that and especially the the chemistry with keenan and kel is something that just 
can transcend time and you can sit and enjoy it. And it's a story of like friends, you know, it's like, we're not talking about all these love interests or crazy things happening in schools or kids doing stuff they shouldn't be doing. It's just like these friends, you know, and like them trying to beat like the bad guys over at Mondo Burger. <laughs> it's just hilarious. And thought that was the biggest problem. It was like, oh my God, Mondo Burger. And they had these huge, you know, that sort of foreshadowed this day and age, all the injections and all the, what is it called? All the things that they add to down, all the hormones they add. You know, they were trying to tell us something, guys. And we were attention because Keenan and Kel kept us entertained. This is this is definitely like foreshadowing. <laughs> all the subliminals were there. We just needed to see it. I think it's awesome though that like I mean obviously you know we both have already covered it on you know different videos as far as like the the nostalgia alerts that we have over the years um but I think like with Good Burger it's it's something that like you know for people that like even just barely watched a movie within a within the last few years you can sit there and enjoy it because it's just like wholesome it's like innocent fun you know like the character of Ed was I think like hilarious how like naive and just like innocent he was about everything um but yeah like it was it was a lot of fun watching that growing up and then you know to know now that like they're gonna have a a sequel is like hilarious I'm sure it's gonna be hilarious plus there's uh people from all that I think Josh, Lori, yeah. Lori Beth is going to be there. I yeah. mean, I'm excited to see Roxanne. You know, it's, it, she was already an adult then. So she she's she an extra adult now. So, you know, who who's her, like, was she into Ed or was she into, was into No, it was, I think, Ed. I think it was Dexter that. Walter. Yeah. Well, no, Dexter had the other girl, the one that was working there, too. Moesha. The Moesha. girl. Better Lines ex baby mama. Yup. Shay Jackson? Shay? No. no, what's her name? I can't remember, but um, he was into her and they did like a double date and then they just like, I think, I don't know how Roxanne became involved and she like was giving Ed all the attention and he was just completely oblivious to any of it. I don't know how. Char- I think he ended up, what's her name? Char Jackson. Char Jackson. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like, so I'm interested to see why, well, I guess I shouldn't be surprised that Ed would still be at Good Burger, but I'm interested to see why Dex is like not successful. I thought he would have been. So that's very like, I don't want to say very millennial, but you know, I don't know if you guys can relate. Sometimes, you know, being a millennial, we've seen a lot of things. We've experienced a lot of things. Oh, yeah. So sometimes I feel like, or maybe I'm just speaking for myself, we're just so disenchanted. Like maybe we want to be somewhere where we, you know, that we envision and we can't because, you know, X, Y, Z or blah, blah, blah. So yeah. him failing, you know, as as far as the, the plot synopsis go that we have right now, him failing at his inventions and like being down in the, I think that's very relatable to us. I don't know, yeah. maybe I'm being too personal sometimes. <laughs> So just reuniting with his old friend, uh, friend, his old friend and uh, going back to Good Burger. I think it's just very, you know, let's let's truck it and start over kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. But I'm excited. I really, really, really would love to see it. I hope that they do a theatrical release. It would suck if like they, you know, don't. But hey, I'll find a free trial membership of paramount plus somewhere just so i can see it if y'all got the hook up let me know guys let us know in the comments did you watch all that were you like watching snick because snick was a big thing yes don't you remember it was like all that Mm -hmm. and then it was another show i think it was all that keenan and kel maybe another show Mm -hmm. and then are you afraid of the dark which i was always petrified to watch love that show i loved it and then i had nightmares every time every saturday i had nightmares but i had to watch it you know yeah that was our like snl our sal gigante like you know yeah. that was our saturday all that was like the child the teenage snl really it really was yeah 
Do they have the we should, and everything? We should do uh where are they now? All that version. Oh, that would be cool, yeah. We know Amanda Bynes is not doing too well. But like the other one, the other actors, it would be nice to know. Like Oh yeah, yeah, I think so. And obviously Keenan is in uh SNL now. So that's yeah. like a oh, tenured, you know, person on SNL, I think. Yeah. So let us know in the comments. Did you watch Snick, Keenan and Kel? You know, do you love orange soda? Are you gonna watch Good Burger and Good Burger too? Let us know in the comments. Are we the only ones that are like super hyped about this? It's all about the nostalgia. I know. We're it. Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus. Just listen yep. to us. See yep. if that rhymes. God, oh, I'm good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> today's episode if you haven't already done so please subscribe turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos also please share our video we're trying to grow our community so your friends could be our friends and we can all be friends and we can all talk about being nostalgic or you know we can diss a kardashian or compliment somebody else this is what we do uh we also have social media which they'll tell you about we are on Instagram and TikTok at Hear Me Out DME. So make sure you guys follow, like, share, comment. We enjoy interacting with you guys. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Peace. Bye. And watch Good Burger. <laughs> Good Burger too. <laughs>